Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about a common mistake, a common question, when to use the infinitive and when to use those gerunds to link two verbs. Uh, this is in Unit 54 in your grammar book. Um, this is a fairly complete list. It's not 100%, but it's the most common verbs that use to or the infinitive, offer, agree, refuse, decide, plan, arrange, hope, forget, manage. Now here, manage means to do something, even though it's difficult. Fail, promise, threaten, deserve, afford, learn and tempt. Okay, Gabby, you've done your homework as always. Yes, you should. What, this isn't, a, like I said, it's a good list, but it's not 100%. What do all these verbs, most of them, have in common? I will say that we use do, or the infinitive, with verbs that talk about things that haven't or hadn't, happened yet. Yeah, that have ha haven't happened yet, maybe they're going to, maybe they're not, or in the past didn't happen, or in the past hadn't happened. That's a very good generalization. Now, did you answer the questions? Yes. Let's have a look. Let's move ahead to the questions. Okay, you did it in your notebook. These are conversations that we wanted to report wanted to report. There's another one, want, very important. The lady asks, should we get married? The man answers, yes, let's. That's pretty advanced. They decide. They decided to get married. Okay, please help me. Okay. She agreed to help him. She agreed to help him. All right, excellent. Can I carry your bag for you? No, thanks. I can manage. He offered to carry her bag. He offered to carry her bag, but she refused. Okay. Yes. Let's meet at 8 o'clock. Okay, fine. They arranged to meet at 8 o'clock. Okay, good. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> that's, that's nice. She refused to tell him her name. Very good. The pronouns. Excellent. Please don't tell anyone. Ah, no. Yeah, please don't tell anyone. I won't. I promise. She promised not to tell anyone. She promised not. Very good. Not to. All right. Tell anyone. Okay. Now, did you make some examples? Yes, teacher. Let's hear your examples. My sister deserves to buy a new house. My sister deserves to buy a new house, yes. My sister can afford to buy a new house. You're telling a story, that's great. <laughs> my sister can afford to buy a new house. So? And my last example that I have is, my sister hasn't decided what house to buy. She deserves to buy a new house. She can afford a new house, but she hasn't decided which house to buy. You put the direct object in the exact place. Very good. Well, thanks everyone. Next time we're gonna talk about the- I'm out of here, okay. Perf. Okay, teacher, thanks, I'm out of here.